Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, before I formally bring the, uh, the meeting to order, I ask that everybody, uh, if you are not speaking and you're able to, uh, mute your buttons or at least have uh, quiet in the room uh, that you are in. Thank you very much for that. Uh, so formally, I will uh, call to order uh, a uh, special meeting of the Council of the Corporation of the Village of Merrifield Wolford on Thursday, June the 4th, 2020 at 3 p.m. and I would ask, uh, let everybody know uh, that I'm in the council chambers and with me is Doug Robertson and our, uh, our uh, clerk of record is Christina and on the line we have uh, Councillor Malloy, Councillor Foster, Councillor Cameron, Councillor Halty and staff we have our uh, fire chief and operations manager Brad Cole and our chief building official, Randy Wilkinson, also also joining us uh, at the moment from our consultant planners, JP2G, we have Brian Whitehead and Neil Caldwell. I do not believe there's anybody else on the lines, so uh, that's pretty noticed, uh, known that we are together now. And uh, as I said, I do have some <clears throat> comments to make, but uh, we do need to approve the agenda, and I will speak to uh, in my comments about moving forward with council meetings as well. So uh, I will ask a, uh, I think uh, as I did in previous meetings, uh, I think this time I'm going to be going with uh, Mr. Malloy and Mr. Help to be, uh, to be the mover and a seconder, and, uh, and, and whatever the motion might be, if you do not need to want to make the motion, um, Uh, please indicate. So I'm just getting in. Uh, hey, your Worship, sorry for interrupting. So I just want to draw your attention to a couple of minor amendments that we need to make to the agenda before council votes on it. Okay. We just need to delete item number four of the in camera justifications for going in camera. Okay. Uh, we also need to add approval of the in sorry the special meeting minutes for April twenty eighth. And April 29th. And those were, again... Um, they were special meetings of council. Okay, gotcha. And what, just to re re review, what, what, are we, what are we deleting from the camera yeah. number four? I'll, I'll read that out loud, uh, Timothy, when I get the motion on the table, okay, so everybody hears it clearly, all right? So it will, the motion will be uh, moved by Mr. Malloy and seconded by Mr... Uh, Sorry, Your Worship, there's just a couple of other items here. <laughs> well, let's do it all at once. Uh, that, just, yeah. Bear with me a moment here. Oh, sure. Thank you. Okay. Um, so we just need to delete the planning section, which is currently under nine, number nine. Yes. And then renumber the last four items. So the CAO item will be number nine. Yeah. So we will have uh, a total of 11 items on the, on the agenda. Uh, a total of 12, actually, instead of 13. So the CAO will be number Okay, you got to help me here. The only one that would be... I, I, I can walk you through, Your Worship, if you don't mind. Um, so we're deleting the item from number 9. So the CAO item becomes number 9 instead of number 10. Yeah. The next meeting becomes number 10 instead of 11. Yeah. The oh, sorry, I missed it here. My fault. I just it down. No problem. Okay. There you go, Your Worship. Okay. So, uh, members, uh, the motion by Mr. Malloy, seconded by Mr. Halpney, be it hereby resolved that the Council of the Corporation of the Village of America Wolford does hereby approve the agenda of the special council meeting of June the 4th, 2020, uh, as amended. And the amendments are, members, under in camera, uh, delete uh, number four, and then adding to the uh, rise and, uh, sorry, adding to the minutes. Uh, currently, we ha it typed out is approval minutes of the special emergency council meeting of May the 13th, 2020. We will also include uh, the minutes for the special council meeting on April the 28th and the 20th and 29th. And we will be deleting uh, number nine under planning, planning procedures, uh, sorry, procedures regarding planning applications during COVID-19. COVID and that therefore changes the numbering on your uh, current agenda. Uh, number 10 CAO would become number 9. Next meeting 11 would become number 10. Confirmatory bylaw 12 would become number 11. And uh, adjournment number 13 would become number 12. 
and that is for the record and if everybody's clear on that uh, and comfortable with it I'll ask for the vote uh, I'm going to ask you in favor so I'll go around clockwise Mr. Malloy in favor yes Mr. Foster in favor Mr. Cameron I have a question uh, about April 28th and 29th it's obviously it's a, an addition to this agenda but we haven't had time to review the minutes to confirm their accuracy you're so at this point, I would not uh, be in favor of amending that. Thank you. Okay. Mr. Halpney? Yeah, I'm in favor. Thank you very much. The motion is carried as amended. And uh, I'll keep my, my comments brief in terms of uh, COVID-19. First and foremost, I'd like to say to members um, that while the uh, our, our motion uh, way back when to... Uh, only to adjourn uh, or defer, if you will, uh, regularly scheduled council meetings, we would have special council meetings. Uh, the province uh, emergency uh, has been extended to June the 30th. Uh, not to be uh, presumptive, uh, I don't see that being extended beyond June 30th. And so what I'm going to do uh, as we get to the uh, last of our meeting uh, where it is next uh, meeting of council to be determined is indicate that uh, I will call for a meeting on June the 23rd, which I do believe would be the normally the second council meeting on our regular uh, schedule for the month of June. And then when we get into July and August moving forward, we would be going to regularly scheduled meetings anyway. That allows us to not have to... Um, um, have a motion to reconsider the motion that we put in place to only have special council meetings during the provincially declared uh, emergency. And I'm going to pause for a moment there, and I know our clerk has her hand up and wants to make a comment. Thank you, Your Worship. I just wanted to clarify that the uh, it'll be June 22nd. June 22nd, okay. Thank you very much for that. Thank you. Uh, we'll get to that uh, later when we uh, go through our agenda. The other thing I wanted to comment on is, is there... Uh, a number of, of uh, meetings that I've been uh, involved in lately. One, one was this morning with uh, uh, representation from the chamber and various groups in our community, uh, looking at you know what might be happening. I'll say later on when you know more than five people are allowed to gather in events uh, and so on. And we're very very enthusiastic uh, community to no one's surprise. Uh, that they're anxious to do things, but everybody does understand that at the moment, you know, through the uh, direction and advice and guidelines from the provincial and the local uh, medical officers of health, it is, uh, you know, stay safe, uh, no gatherings of more than five people, uh, social separation and so on. But uh, folks are keen to get going. Uh, we do have businesses that have opened up. They understand the guidelines, and uh, I can't speak for how well they are doing, but certainly they are more than pleased to, to be open and and. Uh, uh, some of the comments were uh, anecdotally are great to see the regular, you know, flower barrels out and hanging baskets. So uh, we're, you know, we're looking pretty, as they say, but it's uh, everybody's being pretty cautious as well. So it's uh, it's, a, it's a good sign. And uh, the other good sign is we continue in our area to have uh, to not have community spread. So you know, the residents and, and business owners in in our area. Are doing their bit, uh, you know, collectively uh, on an individual, you know, sort of an individual basis, uh, being really smart in terms of, of our behavior from a uh, social perspective in, in not having any spread of, of uh, COVID nineteen. Very briefly, I'll say I was involved in a uh, in a meeting with our uh, a facilitated meeting with our MPP Steve Clark. Uh, from 1 to about 2.35 this afternoon, uh, wanting uh, input in terms of uh, what the provincial government can do moving forward uh, in the next 12 months uh, and then in the 12 months beyond that. And uh, a lot of it had to do with recognizing that uh, you know tourism is important. There needs to be support for uh, tourism you know, from a regional perspective, but also uh, support for businesses uh, from an e-commerce perspective and how uh, we can... Uh, there can be a marketing support for uh, for our businesses. So no magic answers, but the underlying one uh, point was whether you are doing business planning, e-commerce, uh, the broadband is, is the, the foundation of so many things that we're going to be needing uh, needing moving forward. So um, 
my understanding is there may be a summary provided by the facilitator. Um, I say may, essentially this is for our MPP, Steve Clark, to uh, take to, I, I believe he said, a, a cabinet meeting tomorrow. Uh, it's the ongoing process that the provincial government is having in terms of uh, how can businesses see being supported today, uh, you know, financially, you know, whether it's uh, rent relief, et cetera. Uh, but more importantly, in, in the medium and the long term, to have some kind of sustainability as things reopen. So that's a short sum and substance of that. I will repeat, uh, though, from a, a municipal perspective, uh, it's I've said it before and it's worth repeating again, while it's not the normal uh, necessary process, uh, operations continue as is for our municipality uh, and, uh, and services provided to our residents. So uh, uh, a, a very... Uh, uh, appreciative acknowledgement to all the uh, uh, staff of our municipality. Having said that, um, we will now go in camera as indicated on our agenda and I would need a motion for that please and again I would turn to Mr. Malloy and Mr. Houghtonley to be the mover and seconder and uh, unless they indicate otherwise I'll move forward with the motion. Be here by Resolve that the Council of the Corporation of the Village of Merrifield Wolford is hereby moved to an in-camera session at 3.15 p.m. under Section 239.2 of the Municipal Act 2001 as amended to address matters pertaining to 1. Personal matters about an identifiable individual. 2. A position, plan, procedure, criteria, or instruction to be applied to any negotiations carried on or to be carried on by or on behalf of the municipality or local board. Three, advice that is subject to solicitor-client privilege, including communications necessary for that purpose. And four, uh, litigation or potential... No, that's the one we're eliminating? Yes, Your Worship. Thank you. Thank you. Right. So, uh, again, members, we have that uh, as part of our... Uh, amended agenda that number four is deleted. So in this motion, it will be a motion um, to to uh, pass as amended or... Uh, no, as you read it, Your Worship. As I read it. Thank you very much. Um, and so I'll go around the table. Are you in favor of Mr. Malloy? Yes. Thank you. Mr. Foster? Yes. Mr. Cameron? Yes. Mr. Halpney? And uh, the mayor as well, and the motion is carried. Thank you all very much, and we are now in camera.